To mark Holocaust Memorial Day, writer-at-large Neil Mackay recounts the remarkable and moving story of one of the nation's most courageous daughters. It is strange to think that Scotland can produce a heroine like Jane Haining, and yet build not one statue to her. Haining is just one of 22 Britons named by Israel as righteous among the nations. It is a rare honour, handed down only to those who risk their lives to save Jews from the Nazi Holocaust. Jane Haining didn't just risk her life, she gave her life, and died in Auschwitz. Haining, a Church of Scotland missionary, remained in Budapest during the war as the city fell to the Nazis. She ran a school and worked tirelessly to save the lives of Jewish children under her care. Finally, the Gestapo came for her and she perished in the gas chambers. The world marks Holocaust Memorial Day tomorrow. How fitting it would be if there was a statue to this remarkable woman, which would stand as testament to Scotland's remembrance. Here, in Scotland, there's little to mark her life apart from a small memorial cairn in her hometown, and a stained glass window in a Glasgow church she once attended. The irony is, though, that Jane Haining, a woman of great modesty, would most likely have been thoroughly embarrassed at the thought of a statue being erected to her. Childhood the roots of that humble modesty, her quiet but unyielding courage, her self-sacrifice, go right back to her birth. She was a farmer's daughter, born into a devoutly Christian home near the village of Dunscore in Dumfriesshire in 1897. Her mother died when she was five, leaving an indelible loss in her life. In a way, Jane, who would never have children herself, became mother to the Jewish girls of Budapest who she cared for throughout the war. The young Jane excelled at school but it was the church which gave her life meaning. In her recent biography, Jane Haining, A Life of Love and Courage, Mary Miller says, Jane was born into a part of the world, Dumfries and Galloway, with a long tradition of radical, independent thinking among people who saw themselves as answerable only to God. Miller adds, so the priority of allegiance to the church over allegiance to the state was part of the given with which Jane Haining grew up. As an adult, Jane wouldn't be the type of woman to bow to any command above the calling of her own conscience. This would define her life, and death. In 1909, the young Jane was smart enough to win a bursary to Dumfries Academy. Girls from the countryside boarded at a hostel, and Jane was the youngest resident. She was a shy girl and it must have been intimidating. Her biographer says the experience came to inform the care and understanding which she was later to offer to the Jewish children in Budapest. Jane was a gifted linguist who won plenty of prizes and for more on this story, visit the news article link.